Hello everyone, this is Warmac9, once again bringing you Guild Wars 2 Jump Puzzles. Today I'm doing Blaze Ridge Steps, Crazes Folly. Uh, Crazes Folly can be accessed from the Terra Kararunda waypoint in the northeast corner. What you want to do is go into the cave with all the separatists inside and hang a right. You want to go into the rightmost chamber of this particular large room that you first start in, the room with the point of interest. Um, as you can see here, you go through this archway, and you will be in a room with a veteran and four regular mobs. Um, now, it is possible to bypass these if you, say, have stealth. However, I went ahead and killed them just for point, uh, as you will have to sit in this room for maybe a couple seconds more after finishing them. Um, they're not too terribly difficult. They don't hit that hard. However, I was using... a uh, projectile reflection with my dancing dagger ability or a uh, uh, dagger dance wh whatever my elite skill is called and then I proceeded up the steps in the back from the steps you want to uh, jump back and forth across the room using the individual ledges to get around once you hit this point you will use the uh, terrain on the wall to uh, backpedal upwards onto this upper platform and then through the debris wall Outside, you will be in a large clearing area. However, do not go down into the valley itself. You're not necessarily required to be down there. You want to climb up on the rock and then use the rock to hop over to these pillars. Um, you basically want to be hopping from ruin to ruin as you cross this area. So as you can see here, I'm hopping along the upper lip of the wall uh, using these to basically play the floor is lava, <laughs> even though it's you know just technically a valley. Uh, the easiest way to possibly do this is to just not fall. Here you're going to have to uh, hop up on the interior wall, the, uh, the eastern wall, to hop over to the western lip before hopping up onto this pillar and then doubling back onto the higher lip of the wall. Um, at one point you will have to jump here to get onto this other pillar where you will be on solid ground once again and then follow this wall up to the top and use it to get over onto this rock to which you will see that you have now traversed the entire valley by going across the ruins. Here you will find another cave with uh, some trolls in it. Now these trolls do the traditional daze with the uh, shout as well as the knockdown with the rubble falling from the ceiling. I chose just to run through them. They don't attack very quickly so most classes should be able to run through here no problem. Uh, however, if you're not, try and not fight them in uh, groups as they do get really annoying with that knockdown. Now here I actually got hit by one of the bats, so I just decided to go ahead and stealth. Um, the bats themselves are not very annoying. They, uh, they just do that evasion thing that they always do. You want to continue around the room, kind of going around clockwise up to the platform. Here I just happened to kill the cave troll because I just felt it was easier than uh, waiting for a stealth to come back up. Now... Jumping across this lip and uh, onto this platform, you'll find your first chest. This chest is not necessarily the end of the puzzle. You do not get your achievement from that chest. That chest is more of a uh, decoy. What you want to do is double back, hop across this lip, and then at the far end of this lip, drop down and into the hole illustrated here. Uh, this is actually going to be your achievement and your grand chest. So it's basically guarded by this veteran cave troll. You don't have to kill him if you have, say, stealth, but again, I choose to kill him just for the sake of killing him. I've already done the puzzle. And uh, as you can see here, he dazes. He does the, uh, the knockdown rubble from the ceiling. He's not terribly difficult, as with most trolls. He attacks really slowly. It gives you lots of time to dodge, but be wary of the bleeds as they do stack up pretty quickly. And once you're done, simply hop in the hole over a couple lumps of rubble, and now you are back in the main room with the point of interest that you started at. Alright, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Warmac9, bringing you Crazes Folly and Blaze Ridge Steps, and I'll see you next time.